Yesterday, we've seen a 400 million US dollar Bitcoin sell order. And in this exact video, I will talk about what this means for Bitcoin. But more importantly, I will be talking about the imminent short term of Bitcoin breaking out. I will talk about my projections, where I think the market is heading towards next. How I will be trading this market with my new trade that I currently have set up here. I will talk about this Ethereum trade I am looking to take here and much more important stuff. So don't forget to slap up that like button. Can we once again smash? I should back up a 700 and with that of being said let me jump straight away in towards the content and on the imminent short term we actually start to be breaking above this downward sloping resistance line and that is definitely a very good thing for the imminent short term of bitcoin like we do know of course in the recent days here in the recent weeks the fed has been starting to print money again and in the last two weeks they have printed more than 400 billion us dollars and they're scheduled to print more than 2 trillion us dollars into the coming 12 months the reason why they're doing this is to help the liquidity in the banking crisis in the US right now here but this at the same time and due to this fact that the Federal Reserve is increasing their balance sheet it is of course having a wider positive effect on the Bitcoin price action currently on the imminent short term we're seeing a breakout it's weekend so be very careful what I will be looking at for Bitcoin is this range right here if we break above the top side we're of course for sure going to see a continuation towards the upside the top side range right here is also the most important level to break why is because if I am actually looking at the daily or the three-day time frame for Bitcoin, we can see that this level right here that we're currently approaching, what we can also clearly see here on the top side on the 4 hourly time frame, is the level to break. Once Bitcoin confirms above this level, a clear breakout on the daily, the 4-hour, the three-day, then it will be definitely very bullish for Bitcoin. But currently, this is the resistance to break. So once we do touch it, it is actually quite likely that we're going to see a rejection. And what I would love to see, and I explained this in yesterday's video here, is to see a retracement back towards this very important level of previous resistance that i really want to be longing so currently i have set up new long orders for bitcoin to long bitcoin on that twenty five thousand dollars. if we're going to come down if bitcoin doesn't come down towards that level i'm just going to look at the new opportunity but this is currently the level that i am planning to long bitcoin at and that is exactly how i will be doing it as well here while all these things are actually happening at this time here we can currently see that in the past what is it 10 days here we've seen more than fourteen thousand bitcoin Bitcoins getting closed on the Bitfinex long side. What means that if Bitcoin longs are getting closed, it's actually taking liquidity out of the market, what you can also call a sell order. So if you calculate 14,000 Bitcoins, is an approximately 400 million US dollars that got closed here. But if I am actually looking at this right now here, and let me turn up as well the Bitcoin price action on top of it, and what we can learn from the past, if I'm looking at the Bitfinex longs once they're getting closed, and these sell orders are going to get filled up here it usually tends to happen at these significant rallies towards the upside so we saw a lot of long orders getting close actually at the beginning of the bull run of 2021 we saw a lot of long orders getting closed here at the beginning of the rally towards the new autumn high in november 2021 here and also in the beginning of the july run-up we also saw a lot of longs getting closed here so is this once again a signal that we're going to see a significant amount of growth in the bitcoin price action I mean, this is definitely something to pay attention to. So while this is in fact a bearish thing here, we do know that the Bitfinex whales, the Bitfinex long or short traders, they are always front running the trends here. So maybe we're going to see a trend turn around because yeah, the whales are closing their long positions. And what we learned from the past is usually that these Bitfinex whales tend to close their long positions once Bitcoin is price action is in a lot of strength so take this in account we are seeing a lot of strength in the market and these bitfinex wills are taking some profits off the table so this is very important to pay attention towards more than 400 million us dollars got closed in just the past week so pay attention towards this very important signal so talking about my trades i still got this long order set up around twenty-five thousand dollars. and if bitcoin comes down towards this level i'm definitely going to long it because twenty-five thousand dollars is as well the low of the luna crash it's the previous high of the market and right here as well it provided significant resistance in the past so if i can get an opportunity to yeah basically trade this it's going to be a very good trading opportunity we can also see there's a lot of consolidation below resistance which usually is a very 
very good thing for the Bitcoin price action. Talking about other trading opportunities, yesterday I talked about this. Ethereum is currently consolidating in the sideways price action. And sideways price action is actually very nice to trade here. You just long the lo range low and you short the range high. And if you did so, you could have made a lot of money. So if you longed Ethereum yesterday on that range low here from 1700 US dollars, you did a very great job here. So if you are interested in trading this or if you're interested in maybe potentially joining me with my next trade, if Bitcoin is going to come down and we are going to get entered, don't forget to check out the link in the description because if you sign up an account, you can actually claim a deposit bonus up to 30,000 US dollars for trading Bitcoin. So make sure to check it out. And it's only valid if you sign up an account using the link in the description right now further on we can currently see bitcoin is running in towards a daily resist line on the top side and i've been discussing it already we are seeing somewhat of a rounding top structure happening on the lower time frame so this is clearly indicating us that we are seeing some loss of momentum but while this is also happening we can start to see of course on the one hour we create that symmetrical triangle we broke outside of it but on the four hour as well we can start to see that we're creating somewhat of a consolidation phase right here right so we're creating somewhat of a uh, new consolidation phase and of course i would like to see a breakout happening into our next week here and and maybe something with the banks in Europe or US could be a catalyst of Bitcoin potentially breaking out here or the Fed even printing more money. So yeah, we have to wait for that here. But currently there is definitely a lot of consolidation and that is a good thing for the market in general because we're consolidating clearly above $27,000. And yeah, the higher we're going to consolidate that, the better it's going to be for Bitcoin. And I just need to point it out here. This is the level to break. Twenty-eight dollars to $29,000 is the level to break here for Bitcoin. If we break back above this level, we're basically breaking back in towards this top side of this range right and you can clearly see that 28 to 29 thousand dollars has been the floor price it has been the level that has been holding bitcoin up here and every single time we touched it we bounced from it and once we broke below it we broke below it very quickly and we saw a significant dump towards the downside so so this is very important to take into account right now here we're creating somewhat of a rounding bottom as well here in the bigger picture so if we create somewhat of a flag towards the downside here of uh, multiple days of consolidation we could potentially start to create a cup and handles formation but for that we have to be a little bit more patient if we do create such kind of a better i will be most certainly traded and you will be the first one to know here on the channel and while everything is happening we can actually also see that the mining difficulty has been once again hitting a new also by making the network more secure than ever before and while that is happening as well we can see of course that the hash rate is going up as well so bitcoin there are more and more miners coming towards the network what is making the network more secure so that is definitely a very good thing in general so that was it for me on today's update video if you did enjoy don't forget to slap up that like button pay attention towards these bitfinex wills because yeah they usually tend to front run the markets and i think it's a very interesting signal what we can currently see happening for bitcoin right now here so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one peace out goodbye